Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today, mag-unbox na naman tayo ng isang smartphone. And this time, i-unbox natin ang kapatid ng Redmi Note 8 Pro. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox the Redmi Note 8. Kunin ko na yung cutter guys para masimulan na natin ma-unbox yung Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. And by the way guys, yung color na meron tayo o yung kinuha kong color for this phone is the Neptune Blue. Okay guys, inside the box we have the small box. And may kita natin sa ilalim ng maliit na box, we have the unit itself or the unit na Redmi Note 8. So inside the box we have the USB Type-C cable, the wall charger, and again, since Xiaomi siya guys, wala talaga siyang libre na headset sa box or sa phone na ito. So, tingnan naman natin kung nilalaman ng small box na ito. So, right away, may kita natin yung um, SIM pin ejector, the jelly case, user guide manual, and the warranty card. So, ito na yung unit natin guys. And again, the color na meron tayo right now is the Neptune Blue. And as expected guys, hindi na naman talaga siya bago. Sobrang stunning ng color niya. So, tanggalin na natin yung plastic guys. Bago natin isetup up yung phone guys, I'll tour you around kung ano bang meron sa labas ng phone na ito. So on the right part of the phone, we have the volume rocker, the power button, and on the left part, we have the SIM tray. And uh, guys, good job sa Redmi kasi may dedicated slot for micro SD and 2 nano SIM. And on the upper part of the phone, we have the IR blaster and the microphone. And sa ilalim ng Redmi Note 8 natin, we have the 3.5mm headphone jack, microphone, USB Type-C port, and the speaker grill. So set up na natin yung phone guys. So I suggest guys if you're gonna buy a phone or a Redmi Note 8, kunin niyo yung Neptune Blue kasi sobrang ganda ng blue accent niya sa bezel. Alright guys, so we're done setting up the phone and as expected, sobrang ganda ng quality or ng colors ng display ng Redmi Note 8. Guys, alam ko marami na nag-upload ng unboxing and full review for the Redmi Note 8. So instead of us doing or instead of me doing the um, regular review for a phone or for the Redmi Note 8, let's just go ahead do a comparison review for the Omidi GX and the Redmi Note 8. Get ready for the next battle. Let's start with the build and design sa comparison review natin. So, both phone has a front and back glass panel. Pero yung Redmi Note 8 natin guys has a Gorilla Glass 5 protection. While yung Umidi GX natin is just a regular glass. So, make sure na lagi natin naka-install yung casing niya. For the camera setup, for the Redmi Note 8, we have a quadruple camera setup. While yung Umidi GX natin has a triple camera setup sa phone na ito. As you can see guys, may kita pa rin natin sa likod yung fingerprint scanner para sa Redmi Note 8 natin. While yung Umidi, G Umidi GX natin is under display na yung fingerprint scanner niya. For me guys, for the design and build, I really like the color ng Umidi GX. But mas okay pa rin talaga yung design and build. And yung pagka premium feel sa kamay ko ng Redmi Note 8. Punta na tayo sa hardware and battery performance ng dalawang phone natin. So sa Yumi TGX natin guys, this is powered by a MediaTek Helio P60 processor with GPU of Mali G72. While yung Redmi Note 8 natin guys is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 with Adreno of 610. Para sa battery naman, the Yumi TGX has a 4150 mAh battery. While yung Redmi Note 8 natin has a 4,100 mAh battery. And good thing kasi capable na yung dalawang phone natin ng fast charging up to 18 watts. 
But I personally like the performance or hardware performance ng Yumi DGX natin guys because naka-experience talaga ako ng sobrang lag at minsan talaga nagka-crash yung application na ginagamit ko. Like yung even the ca- just the camera guys, um, nagka-crash talaga siya minsan. Minsan hindi ko talaga siya magamit. So I'm not sure ko ako lang nakaka-experience noon. But Xiaomi needs to do something about it. We need an update right now to fix that bugs. But once na maayos yun guys, I think magiging okay naman. So again, if you're experiencing the same thing na na-experience ko, leave a comment down below at let me know kung ano yung na-experience nyo sa Redmi Note 8 nyo. Punta naman tayo sa operating system and hardware performance ng dalawang phone natin. So unahin natin guys yung operating system ng dalawang phone. So para sa Xiaomi DJX natin guys, this phone runs in stock Android based on Android 95. While yung Redmi Note 8 natin runs in MIUI 10 based on Android 95 as well. So punta naman tayo sa display ng comparison review natin. So for the Redmi Note 8, this phone has a 6.3 inch IPS display with 1080p resolution, 409 ppi density, and 19 by 9 aspect ratio. While sa Omi DJX natin, this phone has a 6.35 inch AMOLED display with 720p resolution, 269 ppi density, and 19 by 9 aspect ratio as well. So personally guys, I like the colors and yung pagkalinis ng kulay niya sa Redmi Note 8. So when it comes to the display, Oh, even though na may AMOLED display siya guys, I still go with the um, Redmi Note 8 na display niya. So for the camera guys, I really like the versatility ng Redmi Note 8 at mas malinis and well balanced yung mga pictures niya or yung photos and mas less yung noise compared sa Umidi GX. So when it comes to the camera, I'll still go with the Redmi Note 8. So, punta na tayo sa last part ng ating comparison review. So, for the price and availability, both phones are available right now sa market. But yung Yumi DX natin can, you can actually purchase this via online, Lazada, and Yumi DX. And this one actually retails for below 10000 but I can actually some resellers selling it more than 10000 So, I but I suggest guys, or I highly recommend to purchase it directly from AliExpress mismo sa Yumi DX or Yumi DG official store sa AliExpress. And the Redmi Note 8 is actually available sa any me authorized reseller na store. Um, this one, I actually purchased it or got it sa SM Mega Mall. And yung variant na meron ako, as mentioned a while ago, is the 4GB of RAM and 64GB of uh, internal storage. And yung retail or yung price niya is just an 8,990 pesos. But if you want a higher internal storage, um, meron din silang available, which actually cost you 9,990 pesos. But kung talaga kayo, and if you want to save mo- more money, um, they also have a 3 gigabyte of RAM and 64 gigabyte of internal storage no variant, which actually retails just for 7,990 pesos. So when it comes to the price and availability, definitely. Um, Redmi Note 8 actually wins on this category kasi available siya sa market today. I mean, if you want to purchase and buy right now, you can actually go to any me authorized reseller store and get one for yourself. So, and also guys, yung AliExpress medyo, it would actually take time kapag order kayo online since hindi talaga siya available locally at manggagaling siya sa ibang bansa. Kung sa tingin nyo nagustuhan nyo ang comparison review ko for the Omidi GX and the Redmi Note 8, please don't forget to like this video, um, subscribe to my channel, and tap the bell icon guys para ma-notify guys ng mga future unboxing or comparison video ko. So again, this is Wax from Wax Select Channel. Have a great day guys. Goodbye.